Welcome to Highline BI348 class video number 36. Hey, if you want to download this file, BI348 chapter 2.5, import 7, either the finished or the start file, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we're going to see how to unpivot a data set using Power Query. Now, let's go look at the final result. Here it is, and this is common. We have business instructors, and we've collected the average hours worked per week in an academic year for business instructors, chemistry, physics, and accounting instructors. Now, it makes sense. We list them with the actual category at the top. But for data analysis, this is what we need. Now, unpivot means, well, think of a pivot table. If we were to drag the category teacher to the column area of a pivot table, it would show the unique list across the top. And then below, it would have some summary calculation. So when we say unpivot a data set, it means I need to take this column and repeat business instructor many times in a column called teacher, and then list each one of these numbers next to. So for example, business instructor 49 business instructor 31. So there's the 49, there's the 31. And then do it for each column. Power Query makes this easy. Now let's go over to our start file. Now, in order to take data inside Excel and import it into Power Query, you either have to convert the data set to an Insert Table, Control-T, which I'm not going to do here. Or if it's a one-time deal, here is an awesome trick. You can also turn on the filter and then turn it off. Now watch this. If I just have a data set and I do not need the dynamic range aspect of an Excel table, I simply convert it to a filtered list. Watch this. Control Shift L, and notice filter drop downs at the top, and then I'm still holding Control Shift. I never let go of it, and I'm going to hit the L again. So here's what I do. If I want to get it into Power Query quickly, I do Control Shift L L. Now, no problem. When I go up to Power Query, notice Get Excel Group expects it to be in a table. So by using a filtered data set, that's like a hack. That's another way to get it in. And by the way, I learned that awesome trick from Bill Sizzes at YouTube. So I'm going to click From Table. And notice when it imports, it says the actual name of the sheet and then Filter Database. And that's a fine name. Now I want to click on the first column. And before I click on the last column, I'm going to hold Shift, because all I want to do is go to Transform and Unpivot Columns. you got to be kidding me. Just a few clicks, <laughs> and it's completely a proper data set. Well, except for double click at the top. I'm going to call this Teacher. Double click. And I named it something ridiculously long, Average Weekly Hours Worked. Here are our steps. There's a name for our query. Now I simply come over to Home. Close and load to. I'm going to say Table on this existing sheet. And I'm going to say click this Collapse button. Let's put it in G1. Click OK. Click Load. And there it is, 47 rows loaded. Now the beautiful thing about this is I can do whatever I want. I can use sort. I can use text filters. I can come over here, filter it just by a certain number, or more importantly, filter it by like greater than 55 hours worked in a week average. Click OK. So there's a few of them there. Now I can unfilter. Ah, But what I want to do here is build a pivot table and look at the average and standard deviation for each group of teachers. So I'm going to click in a single cell, Insert, Pivot Table, or of course our keyboard, Alt-N-V. I'm going to click Existing and Location, maybe like J2. Actually, I'm going to put it in J1 and click OK. Now I'm going to drag Teacher down to Rows to get a unique list. I'm going to drag Average Weekly Hours Work down to the Values area twice. Scroll over here. Right click Summarize Values by and Average. Right click Summarize Values by. Oh, 
I don't see standard deviation, but over here, more options. I'm going to use standard deviation. The P is for the population without a P is for the sample. Click in the top and then how about mean? Enter, right click number formatting. Something like that will be fine with two decimals. Click OK. Click in this top cell. I'm going to hit F2 to put it in edit mode and just call it STDDEV. Right click number formatting. Number and OK. Average hours worked. Each one is over 40. Standard deviation, wow, look at that crazy standard deviation there. So about 50 hours per week with a standard deviation of 12 hours. All right, in this video we saw the ever important unpivot feature into a proper data set using Power Query. Now in our next video, we will see how to import 4 million rows of data into Excel using Power Query. All right, we'll see you next video.